For our final module in Marketing in Times of Chaos, we're going to be diving into corporate social responsibility. As we know very well, marketing has the power to either break stereotypes or solidify them. So change is very much in our hands. This is Sharon Shooter. She's the founder of Uomo Beauty. And at the peak of the BLM movement, she saw an opportunity to take a stance on a cause that really mattered to her. She started the hashtag pull up or shut up movement to raise awareness about the lack of black executives in the beauty industry. Now this was more than just throwing money at a cause. It was about calling brands to a sense of action and transparency. Shooter gave brands 72 hours to pull up and within hours results already started rolling in of brands sharing black representation at their company. And so many actually accepted the challenge within the first few weeks. And you could see this example here from Kylie Cosmetics. Many acknowledge that there's still a lot of room for improvement. But what this social media experiment, if you will, really taught us was that if you stand for something beyond just a good price or good value, your consumers will be a little bit more forgiving for those times where you do mess up. Now, don't worry, you don't have to do it all on your own. In co-created benefit, brands are collaborating either with other brands, other content creators, or even consumers to send positive messages. Lush did an amazing job of this. They flooded their social media accounts with BLM messaging, most of which wasn't their own original content. They're reposting other people's content or collaborating with others. Gucci, whose Instagram account is known for having these gorgeously aesthetic, perfect photo shoots, as you see here, allowed the World Health Organization to take over their account and post life-saving messages like these. In doing so, they're sending the message to their consumers that they care more about their health and well-being than about keeping up pretenses of a luxury brand. And of course, I had to throw in a Canadian example. Kraft Heinz Canada donated its ad space to small local businesses that were struggling during a time of social isolation, garnering them tens of thousands of more views than they might have had on their own. So to leverage CSR for your brand's future, it's okay to not have all the answers right away, but silence is the biggest mistake you can make. Continuously do better and be very transparent with consumers about what it is that you are doing. And once you've picked a cause, make sure you're incorporating it consistently across the board. And it's better to be too serious than sorry. So that wraps up corporate social responsibility. Here are some workshop questions to think about. So how can you be more transparent with your consumers? And how can you be more proactive about your brand's mission statement? Thanks for joining us for our course on marketing in times of chaos. For any further resources or if you have any questions, please check out the links down below.